So this is the small circle jig. This is for take removal of materials at the centre of the repair, very small diameters. The jig ranges from 160 to uh, millimetre diameter down to 40 millimetre diameter. Okay. And basically it's a jig where the router fits to it and it rotates to actually remove the material. Okay. With that, the scale is in, and you might want to close up for this, it's in inches by radius and diameter. It's also in metric millimeters by radius and diameter. And when you're setting the jig, you basically slide it into the position you want using this straight edge. You align the top and bottom parallel marks and that gives you the diameter that you actually want to cut. Okay, so you can rotate the tool to pick up the whole size you need. Okay, so to fit this jig to the router body, first of all, we take the inner jig and we separate the bottom and top jig halves. So we take the upper jig and the base of the router, we remove the three countersunk screws. With those removed, we take the inner jig, the, sorry, the upper jig, and we rotate it and align it so that the extraction lines up and the counter sinks are visible. With that in place, then insert the screws. Insert all of them loosely to start with. And then once all three are in, just nip them. Okay, oh, they don't need a aggressive or heavy tightening. Once that in, is in place, we take the upper jig half with the router assembled, we lower it onto the jig. This connection is very difficult to reach, so while it's still up in the air, we apply the thumb turn to the top of the thread. And that allows us to wind it that, set it in place, and then the second thumb turn goes on the opposite side. Okay, 